<clears throat> Summer 2005 preview iPath video right here. This is funny. Jack's a back, South Carolina. There you go. What's up? iPath 2005. The preview video is 20 minutes long. It's hard to get a full length out of anybody that's that's 10 minutes long these days. And this preview video for iPath is, is 20 minutes long. I'm so glad Jack opened the video. That's so sick. Crazy thing about iPath. So many crazy things. Well, one, I just talked about Steve Nesser in our last video, or my last video. Um, for another shoe release, Steve Nesser, I believe, skated for iPath. Maybe I'm wrong. But the other crazy thing is iPath was one of the first brands I ever carried in 2002. So it took us a while to get shoes in the store. Um, but iPath, DVS, Lakai, and Savier one of my first four brands when I opened the shop. Uh, I, I got shoes in 2002. This is crazy, so iPath is back. I always supported iPath or I was stoked on it because guys, you might not know this, but I've been vegan for like 35 years or 32 years, a long time. And um, iPath makes a ton of vegan stuff. Ironically, I didn't order any of the hemp or vegan stuff for the initial drop mainly because it had a bunch of Rasta colors on it and I didn't order any of the Rasta stuff. Tell me if that was a mistake in the comments below. I just felt like it was a little mall core, but I know that that's important to some people. It's not mall core, it's, uh, it's actually important to some people, but I didn't know how big that market would be. So I didn't order any Rasta stuff, but we did get these. We got two colors of the grasshoppers. This one is probably the sickest one in a kind of a premium uh, leather, black leather upper. Um, here you go. This says, follow your path since in its inception in 1999. iPath has been more than a footwear brand. We have been a companion on the journey of those who seek to adventure and embrace authenticity. You can read this when you get it. I'm not gonna read it all iPath sticker. There you go. Your iPath sticker that comes in every box since 1999, unless it fell out of the box. Like I said, guys, I just liked iPath back in the day because I'm kind of a hippie, but although I wish people would make cool shit that was sustainable that just wasn't like so uh, sustainable looking, like they just brand that too hard, but these didn't. Like, you know, maybe if, if, uh, if iPath really pulls off the sustainability card, maybe this is a way cooler option to Karyuma. Did I just say Karyuma in a video? Dudes, I don't carry Karyuma. I don't hate on it. I think they look pretty bad, but I love what they do for uh, sustainability reasons and all that sort of stuff. But let's get on to the iPath. This is your all black grasshopper. Kind of has that dunk high vibe. Everybody's been saying it, so I don't feel bad saying it. Um, this obviously just has your little bit bulkier vibe to it, and they're super comfortable on foot. It feels really good. Um, to be determined, I've got some uh, promo coming, so we will be skating in these. The crew's gonna be skating in some iPath. Josh, the new hire, the new employee at the shop, not the old Josh, he's still here too, but the new Josh is gonna be rocking some iPath pretty soon. And we're gonna tell you how they skate. Um, I can tell you from back in the day, uh, the soles were always super, super grippy, somewhat soft. That softer rubber just grips really, really well. You got your strap here. I don't know if this is my memory failing me, very likely so. I swear I remember there being lace holes up here so you could uh, lace through all the way to the top and just let this thing flop around because I don't think I ever strapped this back in the day. So to be determined, I don't know, but there's your iPath branding on the tongue. I, I like the tonal branding. I think it looks pretty sick and uh, some little, um... guys, I came in early this morning and knocked these videos out because it's been so busy at the shop. I haven't been able to focus on it. And now it's too early for me to focus because I like just started talking. Holy cow. Like this is my second video I filmed today and I feel like the first one's terrible, but whatever. Here you go. You got some breathability built in and these little, uh, little air holes. And there is your heel. 
You got your stash pocket in there. iPath might have been the first to do the stash pocket, or I don't know, maybe Muska was the first one. But anyway, you do have your stash pocket in there if you are so inclined to put some change or some um, something else in your stash pocket in your shoe. <clears throat> Looks like you have this uh, recycled ortholite insole. Definitely says ortholite right there. Size nine through 10. This is a nine and a half. So knowing iPath or hoping to know iPath, I think this has probably got some sustainability built into it. This looks like it may have some recycled properties. Um, a lot of times I think iPath does use recycled and sustainable materials and they are trying to meet some kind of sustainability quota with their manufacturing and all that sort of stuff. So um, started by Brian Krause and uh, Matt Field back in the day. Uh, Brian Krause is the uh, new startup, the new owner. I don't think Matt Field is involved anymore. But Kenny Reed's around. I saw him out at the trade show. I didn't get a chance to talk to him. But some of the OG heads are back in the iPath building. They are true to size and they are very comfortable. So let me know what you think of iPath. Are you going to try these things out? Um, this one right here has your iPath keychain on it. So you do get a free keychain with your purchase. So you can let everybody know that you are rocking iPath on your keys and on your feet. That's weird. Let's look at the next one. All right, guys, here you go. This is the next one. This is also your grasshopper. This is in this color. Can you read that? Do you know what that is? It's brown. It's just brown. So boom, there's your father's path. And let's go ahead and look at this one first. There's your keychain, And here is this brown and gum. This one looks super sick. I like the embroidered detail on that. This reminds me of uh, Tom Penny. Definitely has Tom Penny boot vibes. But yeah, there you go. Same thing. A little ventilation there for you embroidered iPath logo and you know this gum is going to be super grippy again kind of got that dunk toe little iPath branding right there for you I don't know too much about how these are going to hold up these days I do not know if the vamp is sewn into the strobel or if this is just a seam uh, but we will know that soon we will be skating in these this is just like a first look but it is triple stitched so we will give them that a little triple stitch on there we're gonna see how that holds up. So, boom. Embroidered iPath in gold on the back of these also. Guys, I haven't had a pair of iPath in so long, so don't take this uh, seriously or maybe take it with a grain of salt, but I feel like this might be a little bit thinner than it used to be. The strap might be thinner. Um, I'm not sure. But how are you guys gonna rock these? Are you gonna rock them loose, like the strap hanging off, or are you gonna strap it up so you feel a little bit more secure? I don't know, to be determined. Boom, there you go. This is it, iPath is back. What do you guys think? Have you guys been waiting for this stuff? What do you think? What is your, what is your thoughts on the hemp versions and the Rasta stuff that they offer? Um, right now, I'm only carrying um, cats and grasshoppers, so if there's anything else you guys are looking for, let me know in the comments below and we'll pick them up. But right now, this is it. I'm gonna show you the grasshoppers in this video and the cats in another video. They're 110 bucks. The cats are 100 bucks. So there you go. Grasshoppers, true to size, $110. Not too shabby. So there you go. iPath is back. What do you guys think? That is all. We'll see you guys in the next one. All the best. Love Blue Tile and good morning because it's morning. It's, oh gosh, my watch just restarted. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.